What first comes to mind when you think about copper? The Statue of Liberty? Maybe those annoying, economically depreciating excuses for currency that cost more to produce than they are worth? Don't forget the ample opportunity for terrible pickup lines. You must be copper because I see you in my dreams. But as it turns out, copper is an important nutrient for our bodies. It is a trace mineral that performs multiple functions. It is primarily a component of ceruloplasmin, a transport protein. Ceruloplasmin levels and copper levels are so intrinsically linked that one's copper status is generally tested by testing ceruloplasmin levels. Ceruloplasmin also assists in the metabolism of iron. Thus, when ceruloplasmin and copper levels are inadequate, iron deficiency can result. Copper also functions as one of the cofactors that make up the superoxide dismutase enzyme system. This system fights damage caused by free radicals. Finally, copper also plays a role in the regulation of the neurotransmitter serotonin. Although copper has all these vital roles to play in our bodies, the amount that we actually need in our diets is very small. We only need 900 micrograms per day, which is the same as 0 .0009 milligrams. To put that in perspective, take a paper clip, cut it into 10,000 pieces, and one of those pieces is the amount of copper you need in a day. Copper deficiencies are very rare since copper is needed in such small amounts and is found in a myriad of different foods. But despite all this, deficiencies do occur, most commonly in one of two scenarios. Either someone who suffers from an eating disorder like anorexia, or someone who follows a formulated diet where you only eat one type of food. But if this is you, to be completely honest, you probably have bigger problems than your copper deficiency. Another case in which one might suffer from a copper deficiency would be premature infants who are fed only cow milk based formulas. For example, Paul is a normal cute as a button baby, but for some reason or another he was only fed cow milk based formula. Now he has things like osteoporosis, reduced white blood cells, and bone damage as a result of his deficiency. Wipe that smile off your face, Paul. You have nothing to be happy about. Just kidding. Your deficiency is easy to fix. Just start eating pennies. Okay, kidding again. Instead, load up on lots of oysters, mushrooms, nuts, lobsters, beans, spinach, and potatoes, and you'll feel good as new. A more common problem isn't deficiency, but toxicity. Too much copper can cause nausea, abdominal pains, cramps, and in extreme cases, liver damage. So yeah, fun stuff. But don't worry about getting copper toxicity from eating too much trail mix. Most of the documented cases of toxicity occur from drinking beverages that have come in contact with copper. If you don't want to end up like Paul did, here's what I suggest. Get yourself some oysters, mushrooms, trail mix, and any type of nuts or seeds and put it into one big disgusting soup. But put the trail mix on the side please for the sake of M&Ms and humanity.